probably a good idea. Man. But then you look at Whitaker, <clears throat> who's at eighty five. He's not mm -hmm. huge. He's stocky, but he's not like huge. He's like the perfect size, Whitaker, because he still can knock out anybody. But he's got awesome cardio and strong pace. Strong too. He's strong. I mean, he's not as strong as Yoel Romero, but he's strong uh, enough to hold him off. No one is. Who is? No one is. Guys, a freak. you got to get that that Cuban gene pool to get that. God, there's, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like there's there's certain gene pools, like that fucking mountain from Game of Thrones. There's some gene pools out there, man. Well, the, yeah, and then when he's throwing steroids in that pool, oh, you get a freak. Oh, you do throw. Did you see he in that pool to too. it? Of course he did. <laughs> Of course he did. Yeah. How? Uh, yeah. He was like, yeah, no shit. Yeah. And then when they kept asking about the guy, are you currently taking? He goes, listen, I don't really want to talk about this. Hmm? It's like, yeah, no, of course I am. Why man. are they asking questions like that? Yeah, it's the strongest man contest. <laughs> but think about, <laughs> come on. Yeah. What, dude, <laughs> who's going to win? Yeah, who gives a fuck? How about uh, Style Bender versus Whitaker? Yeah, the all oceanic fight. Are you really going to fly to Australia for that pay per view? It. Thinking about it. Dude, there ain't, there ain't two dudes on this planet that can get me to fly to Australia. Two? There's not it, no dudes Wouldn't on this planet. Be there live though? No, Something Joe. I'd rather be epic. here. I'd rather be dun, here. Dun, 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 dun. You're crazy. Mm. I love Australia, but now if Rihanna was like, "Yo, dude, get to Australia," I'm like, I'm on my way. <laughs> Say no more, fam. No, but not two dudes. Yeah, but that fight, dude. I want to see that fight in the flesh. Live? You're gonna do it? I think I might. I want to see how that goes down. That's I want to see. Fight. Whitaker is a fucking animal, man. Just I think, think about how much about pain that injuries. guy had to be in to an almost fight with a hernia and a ruptured, he had a ruptured rectum, right? Was it a ruptured rectum? I thought it was just a hernia. I no, think no, his no, rectum's no, no, fine. No, no, I think he had two major injuries. No, I know, I know his intestines were popping through. Yeah, but I think it was another one. Damn, his rectum was fucked up too? Yeah. So isn't that, didn't he have a tear? Is that called a, Jamie will find a hemorrhoid? No, 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 like a tear. In his ass? Well, you know, you think about the D fucking strain from sparring. Just think about getting taken down while you're trying to throw a kick. You land fucked up on your hip. Never rip my asshole. You could rip your asshole. I, I'm just saying catch I never a have. Kick. You catch a kick on the, the asshole. Ass. Yeah, easily, For dude. sure. For sure. People lose eyes. How about someone misses a spinning back kick low and it just catches your taint? Oh, man. Just the heel hits your taint, rips your taint away from the bone. That shit happens. I wonder what I I, I, <laughs> ugh. I don't know what the odds would be. I would assume Whitaker's a slight favorite in that fight. I would say so. Yeah, I would say you know based off what his, Kelvin did. Well, based off what Kelvin did, based off Whitaker's uh, two fights with Yoel, he's been the only guy to hold Yoel off. Jesus Although I've, I have said that I did think that Yoel won the second fight. Interesting. I thought you. I think by I go the way, new scoring, Yoel had him rocked and hurt. By the new scoring, I felt like it should have been worth more. You thought it should have been a 10-8. Yeah, I mean, he had him almost out. Hurt. He had him he staggered. We didn't see him do that to Yoel, but, but he did but he survive. he won more rounds and survived. He, he survived. He won more rounds. It's like how I don't much have a problem of those, with a draw. If you're watching a fight, if a fight is a fight, if it, I mean, I understand it's a sport, but it's a sport of fighting. If you're watching a fight and one guy is really fucking a guy up and the other guy never does that, who do you think won that fight? Do you, you can't think the do guy that, that move? You're right, you can't. Yeah. But do you think the guy that just moves around and touches him with the jab? And I'm not saying this what Whitaker did, but just, just as a what if. If a guy's just moving around for four rounds and he's touching you with the jab and leg kicking you and shutting you up. Like fighting in the street? But then in the fifth round, you knock him down four times. You beat the fuck out of him. And you, he's running away from you. His nose gets bloodied. You end the fight with your hand raised without a mark on your face. And the other guy's face is pizza. Maybe. I'd look at my boys like, damn, for that first 20, that boy was moving. Right, right, right. It's a qu it's a good question. It's because like what? How much is that round as, worth as a sport? Though, yeah, right. that's what it is. Because it, as a sport, yeah, the, you have the, to judge it's it cumulative. as cumulative. Yeah, if you're gonna judge it on a scorecard, you have to. Be, it has to be cumulative. The question is like, how much is it worth for a guy to really take it to a guy and almost stop him? See, I don't. I, I don't think, think there should be more draws. I don't have a problem with the draw. I don't have a problem with the draw. Like with either. that fight, if there was a draw, I'm like, that makes sense. Redo it. Let's get a clear cut winner. I think when a person gets really rocked like that, it's worth more than a point. I think it's worth more than two points. I think it's worth Ooh. a lot. You think it should be like 10-7 I rounds. think it's a big deal. God, then you're fucked, dude. You're fucked, but you, you are fucked. In real life, you're because fucked. Because of a ref. Well, no. In real life, you're kind of it. fucked, right? Like you, the, the idea that you could go through a round, you don't know who won, right? A round where it's like a lot of feeling out, a lot of touching, you know, the this and the that. And, you know, okay, perfect example. 
first round Anderson Silva versus Stylebender. Yeah. Okay. You could give it to Stylebender for sure, but it was it was a, a round where they were feeling each other out. Either there was, way, there was not one big moment where oh my God, Stylebender's taken over. This fight is almost done. So that's ten nine. But yet another fight where a guy beats the shit out of a guy and doesn't drop him. And they have exchanges, but the guy gets rocked and hurt. Is that 10 9 too? I know, it's weird. What if he yeah, head kicks him and drops him and the guy yeah. barely survives? He hammer fists him it's at the end of the bell. Is it 10 9? I know. In the old system, it is. But what is it in the new system? Is it 10 8? But if it's, if, even if it's 10 8, I think it should be more than 10 8. Like that guy almost is went out. F- the, but the only thing is, you're fucked. Like, yeah. Let's say you do a 10 6 or 10 yep. 7. Right. Then you get dropped. It's going to be tough. You got to get well, a finish. Here's the argument against what I'm saying. Here's the argument against it Frankie Edgar versus Gray Maynard. Mm. Especially the first one, right? Gray Maynard drops him, has him badly hurt in the first round. Frankie manages to survive and come back and win enough rounds and win the fight. That's the exception, though. But it is the exception. Well, it's kind of like if you gave him like five points for that round. 